from Wrong Electronics. Um, welcome to Super Booth at Home from uh, my living room. So new from Wrong Electronics, we have the Parallax Stereo Filter and the Vertex Stereo VCA. And they're both designed so that you can treat a stereo signal in a similar way uh, to how you would treat a mono signal with just one frequency control and one gain control but you also have the ability to skew the stereo image from left to right with both of the modules. The parallax has left and right inputs here. Um, when you patch into the left input and leave the right input unpatched, the signal will go to both left and right uh, filter paths. And the outputs, there is 12 dB per octave and 24 dB per octave outputs, which are both available simultaneously. Um, the filter cores, based on the Sequential Circuits Pro 1, but with a bunch of modifications, which um, Mm, makes it sound more like I like it. Um, and then the Vertex um, similarly has left and right inputs and if you patch to the left input uh, it goes to both VCAs and left and right outputs. So back to Parallax um, we have frequency control and resonance control And then the two CV inputs here, unipolar and bipolar inputs for the frequency. And here we have voltage control of the resonance. And there's also frequency skew with the CV input with an attenuverter and resonance skew, which also has CV input with an attenuverter. Vertex has your gain offset control. There's CV input for gain, uh, uh, manual bias for skew, and then also CV input for skew. One of the cool things about the VCAs which are used in the Vertex is that if you give them an input CV, which is more than the amount required uh, to have unity gain through the VCAs, the um, the CV will clip. So, as you can see from the waveforms on the data over there, you've got an envelope shape, and then as you give it more CV, it squishes your waveform here. So you've got like a hold stage added to an AD envelope, um, which is a really good way to make things sound really punchy. And a cool thing about using this in conjunction with the skew control is as you change the skew when you're doing these uh, clipped envelope shapes, as you go to the right, it makes the, uh, the hold stage of the left side get shorter, but the peak value stays, like the, the peak voltage level stays the same. And similarly, so it's not like panning a signal or using a balance control. You're actually changing the, uh, the relative loudness by changing the length of the sound uh, as well as the volume. And as you give it a bit less CV, then that, uh, that kind of effect stops. And so you can just have a, a relative level change. But yeah push it a bit harder and you get some really cool effects. Uh, yeah, which which means you're still putting the same amount of uh, voltage out from your signal, but uh, different lengths to change the loudness. The Parallax has got a really nice kind of liquidy sound to it and it responds really nicely to being pinged with triggers. Use the 
this gear while you're pinging it. Parallax will also self-oscillate from both the 24 dB per octave and the 12 dB per octave outputs. The onset of the resonance is really nice and controlled as well. Thank you. 